Lockheed Martin. Boeing and Pratt & Whitney proudly present the Air Dominance Fighter for the 21st Century. $350 million fighter. The only fighter to beat Russian Su-57. New F-22 Raptor after upgrade. It's time to show up in action. Tensions are high. Russia is disintegrating Ukraine with over 2,000 Russian missiles shot in only four months, as NATO sits on the sidelines for seemingly too long. The possibility of a war between NATO with US as allies and Russia couldn't be clearer. And should that happen, two fighter jets will be decisive factors on who would win. The world's most expensive fighter, the $350 million American F-22 Raptor, and the Russian Su-57 Felon, whose price tag remains unclear but is high enough that Russia, the world's 11th largest economy with a $4.3 trillion GDP, has managed to build only 16 of them. So both fighters are very expensive and very similar in some other ways, but very different. Very invincible, yet very vulnerable to each other. Very perfect, but yet constantly being upgraded to have a one-up over the other. Should these two incredible jets face off in a death battle, who would win? Find out in this video. But first, a look at the new upgrades on the F-22 that could come in handy. F-22 Raptor Upgrades Detect and track passively Immune to electronic warfare Directed laser energy weapons The Raptor is a far older fighter than the Felon. Having entered service in 2005, 15 years earlier than the Felon. However, the Raptor in service today isn't a 2005 fighter as it continues to be upgraded to keep up with the times. Enough talk, let's see those upgrades. 3. IRST Pods In a post by the head of the U.S. Air Force's Air Combat Command, General Mark Kelly, the Raptor is fitted with faceted pods that, in many ways, prove to contain IRST sensors. IRST sensors provide the capability to passively detect and track both stealthy and non-stealthy aircraft from miles away while being completely immune to electronic warfare. And, as electronic warfare has grown to become the stuff of dreams for the most advanced air forces, IRST capabilities have become all too vital for the Raptor. 2. Low Drag Tank and Pylon LDTP. In the same post by General Mark Kelly, the Raptor is fitted with the Low Drag Tank and Pylon, or LDTP, a component so critical that it is simultaneously involved in two separate programs. The LDTP offers the solution to one of the Raptor's biggest weaknesses, its range. The LDTP is also stealthier and more aerodynamically efficient than the Raptor's original 600-gallon fuel tanks, provides reduced drag, increased range, better sustained supersonic flight, and ultimately ensures the Raptor can operate lethally every second it's in the air. 1. Upgraded Weapons What's an upgraded fighter without upgraded weapons? Not the F-22 Raptor, that's for sure. The Raptor is fitting to wield directed energy laser weapons and the new AIM-260 long-range Joint Advanced Tactical Missile. The AIM-260, first unveiled in 2019, is a beyond-visual-range air-to-air missile designed as a powerful response to the advanced long-range missiles being developed by potential adversaries. So, with the Raptor prepared for war, is the Russian Felon ready? F-22 Raptor vs. Su-57 Felon The F-22 Raptor vs. the Su-57 Felon, the earliest fifth-generation fighter against the latest. Here, we see how well has the U.S. managed to downplay the mega factor that is time and how Russia has used it in their favor. Starting with what both fighters have in common, 
They're both top-of-the-line combat aircraft that utilize advanced avionics, stealth technology, low probability of intercept radar, LPIR, agile airframes, and supersonic performance. Each also featured highly integrated computer systems that are capable of networking with other elements within the battle space for situational awareness and C3 capabilities. C3 – Command, Control, and Communications Pound for pound as they may seem, these two jets still do have some significant differences between them that could determine the winner in a dogfight. And the major of these differences comes in three main categories that define what it means to be a fifth-generation fighter – Stealth, Engine, and Armament. Stealth – RCS – Raptor .0001 square meter Felon .1 to 1 square meter 100,000% larger RCS Least stealthy fifth-generation fighter the Raptor was designed from the ground up to be highly difficult to detect and track by radar. Aligned edges, fixed geometry serpentine inlets, and curved vanes that prevent line of sight of the engine faces and turbines from an exterior view. The lavish use of radar absorbent material, flat engine nozzles, and active cooling of leading edges, all combined to give the Raptor a radar cross-section, or RCS, of 0.0001 square meters, the same as that of a tiny steel marble. The Felon's stealth capabilities is ensured by aligned edges of its own from careful angling of the leading and trailing wing edges, control surfaces, and serrated skin panels to reduce the number of directions the radar waves can be reflected. Its canopy is coated with 70 to 90 millimeter thick metal oxide layers with advanced radar wave absorbing to minimize the radar return to the cockpit by 30% and protect the pilot from the impact of ultraviolet and thermal radiation, all combining to give the felon an RCS of approximately 0.1 to 1 square meter, which would be impressive if it wasn't going against the stealthiest fighter on the planet as that means the Felon has a 100,000% larger RCS than the Raptor, which, to be clear, is not a good thing. In fact, it is widely believed that the Felon is the least stealthy of fifth-generation fighters. And the reason for this could be that Russia hasn't mastered the art of stealth yet, as the Felon is their first real, quote, success as a stealth aircraft. Or maybe it's just because Russia doesn't care much for stealth and would rather allow their fighter to be spotted than dominate the subsequent dogfight that comes with it. Bad boyish as that may sound, stealth is a critical fifth generation factor and it does matter. So the F-22 Raptor wins this round. Engine Thrust vectoring 3,107 mile range 65,617 foot ceiling both twin-engine aircraft with thrust vectoring capabilities, the Raptor and Felon rely heavily on their engines to complement their advanced technologies and bring their super maneuverability to life. Two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 afterburning turbofans sit in the Raptor, each producing a maximum thrust of 35,000 pounds of thrust, which can only be realized with afterburners engaged. On the Felon is a pair of AL-41 F1 augmented turbofans that each produce similar 35,000 pounds of thrust without afterburners. This seemingly stalemate in engine power is reflected in their nearly identical top speeds, Mach 2.08 for the Raptor and Mach 2.1 for the Felon. However, the Felon does weigh about 30% more in terms of empty takeoff weight, so reaching this top speed proves some efficient engine use by the Russian fighter. The Felon also has a significant 36% higher range, coming in at 3,107 miles compared to the 2,000 miles of the Raptor. And to top it all off, almost literally, the Felon has a peak altitude of 65,617 feet, a decisive 24% higher than the Raptor's 50,000 foot ceiling to give the Russian felon the crown in the engine department. Armament Short, medium, and long range 1,000 plus pound bombs Aerial, surface destruction 
For reduced RCS, both fighters, by default, have their weapons stored internally, and so there is a good amount of internal space in both. The Raptor has one main weapon bay and two side bays, while the Felon has two tandem main bays and two side bays. Within the Raptor's main bays are a combination of up to six 65-mile range Mach 4 flying AIM 120C advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles and 1,000-pound class GPS-guided joint direct attack munitions. In the side bays are two AIM-9 Sidewinders with Mach 2.5 top speed and a 22-mile range, an M61A2 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon is embedded in the airplane's right wing route, and when stealth isn't the priority, the Raptor can carry one 5,000-pound bomb on each of its four external underwing hardpoints. In the Felon's main bays is a combination of up to four Izdali 1100-pound class Izdali A-10 missiles with a maximum range of under 280 miles and medium-range active radar homing R-77 missiles. For short-range engagement, the Felon wields the Izdali 760. For missions that do not require stealth, the Su-57 can carry stores on its six external hardpoints which can use most Russian tactical fighter weapons. The Felon also comes equipped with a 9A1 4071K 30mm autocannon with an effective range of 800 meters against aerial targets and 1800 meters against surface targets. Clearly, both fighters are armed to the teeth with enough brute to handle short, medium and long range threats and it's too difficult to not call this a tie. However, Russia is now preparing to upgrade the Felon to hopefully have a one-up against the Raptor. Su-57 Felon Upgrades 38,600 pounds of thrust New hypersonic missile 6th generation capabilities The Felon is a relatively new aircraft and so there isn't yet any infinite line of upgrades but a good sizable one, including the new and advanced Izdali 30 engines that produce up to 38,600 pounds of thrust, a clean sheet, short range Izdali 300 missile being developed to eventually replace the R 74M2. A new hypersonic missile is also in the works, and finally, the integration of the most sophisticated forms of artificial intelligence available, such as loyal wingman drones, a feature expected only of sixth generation fighters. In fact, the upgraded Felon is expected to be the base of Russia's sixth generation fighter, the Su-75 Checkmate. Notice the inner switch of figures there? Now, impressive as these upgrades seem, Experts believe it could all be propaganda to exaggerate the might of the Russian military, as the invasion of Ukraine has brought to light that not all that is said in the Russian media is up to even half the truth. But regarding today's Su-57 Felon against the F-22 Raptor, the winner really depends on the mission, the tactical strategies, and other details that could give either party an edge. But really, the secret for your favorite fighter to win is to subscribe to this channel and like this video. So kindly do so now. That would be all for now. Thanks for watching.